how to use deep.ai hey everyone welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video we will talk about deep ai how to use it and everything that you need to know um or at least you know for beginners so here to get started first you'll need to just go into any browser of yours you just type in deep.ai and yes it's going to redirect you to deepai.org but it is pretty much the same thing now from here let's just go ahead and go to the pricing first so let's just go and talk about the pricing so for the pricing you will have the free plan uh and also the deep ai and deep ai pro so the differences are going to be as follows i'm not going to list everything here i'm just going to scroll down a little bit and you can see the differences for yourself feel free to compare them and see which one is going to suit you best and then next, in order to actually use it, you will need to log in or create an account. So just click on the login button at the top right corner, and then you can just go in and click on sign up. And I'm just going to continue with Google in my case, or you can just sign up with email if you want. Now on the screen, we have a few options. We have the chat, image, video, and so on. And we can just actually generate images or videos uh with this section and with the chat is going to be more like you know chat gpt and so on so you can just go in and start chatting with ai in here now for images same thing you just click on images and you'll be able to generate images and same goes for video if you wanted to generate video you can just add the scene that you want and it's going to make a video for you and also if you just scroll down a little bit, you will also have more stuff here so explore explore our ai generators you have ai image editor uh, video generator, uh, background remover, colorizer, and so on. So you, you have a lot of stuff that you can actually use uh, with um, a deep AI. For example, if you want to background remover, you can just go and click on that and you'll be able to upload a file and it's actually going to generate the image without the background. So there's a lot of stuff that we can do here, but most likely than not, you are here for the image generator. So we can just go and click on AI image generator. And if you click on that, we'll be able to basically generate images uh, with the prompts that we want. So here we have the uh, create an image from text prompt. So in here, you'll need to add the prompt for the image that you want to create. However, I need to let you know if you did not use this before, the more details that you add, the better. Because if you add, you know, less details, it could be some sort of an amb ambiguous picture. It's not going to be really clear uh and missing some details as well so make sure you add as many details as possible some people just go for chat to gpt and ask for a good prompt for you know the scenario that they want and it actually could work as well so just go ahead and add the prompt that you want and then we also have more stuff down here so in here we have the model so we have the standard and it's the uh we have the preference whether it's going to be for speed or quality uh and i'm just going to stick with this and here we also have a style. Now there is going to be a lot of styles to choose from. You can see all these styles from here, but for my case, I'm just going to use this one. Um, I think it's going to suit what I'm trying to make here. And we also have the ability to choose the shape uh, of the actual image that we want. Now that's done. We can just basically add the prompt and get started. So we can just go ahead and do something like um, a fireplace in an old worn out hut or something i'm not sure what i'm going for here but after you're done with the prompt i know it's not with a lot of detail uh but just click on generate and it's actually going to generate it for you just you know give it a little bit of time and you can actually see we have a image of a well a fireplace in a worn out hut so it pretty much is what we wanted to do uh, if you want to share it or download it, you also have the option to do so and you can also feel free to click on edit and you'll be able to edit more stuff of the image. So you can just select the type of uh, editing that you actually want to do for the image. And then you can just go and click on edit. It's actually going to do it for you. So most, you know, mostly this is what you're going to be using. Obviously, for the free version, you will have a lot less stuff to work with. So upgrading would be um, something that you may want to do to feel free to access more futures in it. But uh, again, if you want to add more details, it's going to be better. You know, the more detail to it, the better. So this is all for it. I mean, it's going to work the same thing for the AI chat and also AI video. 
it's going to be almost the, exactly the same way. I mean, for the video, you will need to add the prompt. And if you want it to be based off of an image, you can also do so. So this is all for this video. Hopefully you found it to be helpful. And thanks for watching.